Hi, it's Miss Tut here. This PowerPoint is going to go through all the reasons why you should pick History GCSE. You'll walk away from today knowing why History is one of the most prestigious subjects to study, what History GCSE is all about, why your future is bright with a History degree, and how the History Department at the John Rowan School is going to make sure you ace it. Hi, I'm Miss Porter and I'm going to talk to you about why your future is bright when you've got a History degree. So firstly, choosing GCSE history is going to help you to grapple with some of the most important questions in the world today. Things like, why do wars happen? How has our society become so multicultural? Why do prejudice and discrimination still exist? Is history condemned to repeat itself forever and ever? And can human behaviour and the society we live in really change for the better? So in politics and public life, well, firstly, the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, has a history degree. W.E.B. Du Bois, co-founder of the NAACP, has a history degree. Diane Abbott, the first, the UK's first BAME member of parliament, has a history degree. Loads of former prime ministers, including Winston Churchill and Gordon Brown, also have history degrees. In entertainment, more Hollywood actors than you'd think have history degrees. Steve Carell, Edward Norton, what about Borat, Sasha Baron Cohen, and also Grammy award-winning artists Shakira and Lauren Hill. And there are so many history degrees in the top echelons of business. Martha Stewart, who's got a current worth of $638 million, studied history at university. That tells you a lot about the skills you can learn from studying history. Robert L. Johnson, um, an entrepreneur worth $600 million. The current CEO of American Express, the CEO of YouTube and the CEO of Hewlett Packard all studied history and it set them up well for life. So what is History GCSE all about and what do you need to do to ace it? So there are four components to History GCSE that I'm going to go through now. So the first unit of History GCSE is Conflict and Tension, Interwar Years, 1918 to 1939. During this study, we think about the reasons why only 21 years after the end of World War I, World War II began. What's really great about this is we also begin studying this in Year 9, which means when you begin in Year 10, you're already ahead of the game. The next unit of study is America 1920 to 1973, Opportunity and Inequality. During this unit of study, we think about the differences between those Americans that enjoyed this period of American dream, where there was lots of affluency and, dis and opportunities, and those Americans that continued to experience poverty, prejudice and discrimination. We study some fascinating topics like the prohibition and crime in the 1920s, the impact of World War II on America, uh, the civil rights movement, the feminist movement and many, many more topics. Next, we study Elizabethan England, 1568 to 1603. During this course, we think about the fascinating character of Elizabeth I and consider whether she truly is one of the greatest monarchs this country has ever seen. Finally, we study Britain, Power and the People, 1170 to present day. This is a fascinating topic that looks at the last 800 years of British history and thinks about the relationship between those in power and the people. We study all the way up until the 20th century and look at some really fascinating topics like the suffragettes, the Windrush and Brixton riots of the 1980s. So here is what we need from you if you'd like to do history GCSE. A curious mind, do the work that's asked for you, ask for help when needed and come back fighting every week.
Hi, Miss Masson here. In the next couple of slides, I'm going to talk you through how the history department at the John Rowan School is going to help you make sure that you ace your history GCSE. We pride ourselves on being a really strong department who are totally committed to offering you excellent subject knowledge, challenging yet enjoyable and accessible lessons, the best resources possible to help you succeed both in the classroom and outside the classroom and also lots of fun. We are a passionate and committed department to the subject of history. We love history for various reasons and we are going to make it our mission that by the end of the History GCSE you are also going to feel equally passionate about the subject. Have a look here at the different reasons why we love history. In the history department, we will be able to offer you bespoke revision resources to help you succeed. For each of the four components that we study, you will receive a revision pack. Within this revision pack, you will receive a revision guide that covers key questions and content for the exam, flashcards and highlighters to help aid your revision practice. We are also able to offer you extra support if you need it. And this can come in a variety of forms. We offer official interventions outside the classroom from early stages in year 10 right through to year 11. We also offer you online support in terms of being available to chat to you via email if any questions or concerns arise. We are also a department who are really proud of the fact that we are open and we are friendly and that means you can come and find us for a chat anytime you need to in school, again if any questions or queries arise. And finally we offer you bespoke and personalised targets. We'll be able to offer you feedback regularly throughout your GCSE journey that will enable you to succeed. Hello Year 9, my name is Miss Stibby. I'm going to provide you with an overview of some of the reasons why history is one of the most prestigious subjects to study and share with you some advice from our current GCSE students. Miss Porter has already shared with you the variety of people from very different walks of life who studied history at university. So to follow on from that, it's important that you know that history is taking the top spot as the degree that produces future leaders. For example, 15% of our members of parliament studied history. Very powerful leaders in business such as Lloyd Blankfein, the CEO of Goldman Sachs, and Sir Howard Stringer, the former chair of Sony, both have history degrees. Furthermore, more than 20% of all head teachers in UK independent schools studied history. So it doesn't matter what field you want to enter, as the transferable skills acquired through the study of history are extremely valuable. The final paragraph of this slide sums this up nicely. The skills acquired from studying the past provide an excellent foundation for navigating the present and preparing for the future. Ms Tutt has already provided you with an overview of the topics we study in GCSE history. We would also like to reiterate that these have been specifically selected to provide a broad balanced and diverse history curriculum. So, if you're still not too sure, I'd like to share with you the views of some of our GCSE history students in years 10 and 11. Mokhtar in year 10 likes history because it's interesting and it's helped him improve his marks in English. Layla in year 10 likes history because it has helped her to improve her literacy and thinking skills. Bella in Year 11 advises you to choose GCSE History if you want to explore our fascinating past and have a wider view and appreciation of the world we live in today. Whilst Freddie in Year 11 says history is an amazing and well-run subject. GCSE History students have described the subject as interesting, fantastic, helpful, engaging and never boring. They say the History Department is supportive and knowledgeable and one of the best departments in the school. We hope that this PowerPoint has provided you with some useful information to help you make an informed choice about choosing GCSE history. 
please do contact your history teacher if you have any further questions about the subject. Choose wisely.